Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Friday, October 14th, 2011 with your weekend report. Looking here at the tech-heavy NASDAQ 100, this is the QQQ, and uh, up 7.6% for the week. So back-to-back -back huge weeks, up over 16% off the bottom here, and um, closing near the top of the range here which is a sign of strength here. Um, uh, notice here that we have cleared now all of these key moving averages here. Um, the black one is the 40 week, uh, green is the 20 week, and the blue here is the 10 week, and the red here is a short term uh, four week moving average. So uh, definitely a, a sign of strength here as uh, uh, the NASDAQ 100 bolts uh, up here. Um, to the top of the range. Now notice down here that the volume was uh, lighter than last week. Uh, that's to be expected. This is uh, quite a huge move and uh, might be exhausting itself a little bit. Uh, we are coming into previous tops here that have sent the index lower so beware of that. Um, we did have a massive run here so um, uh, a correction uh, might uh, need to take place here. And moving on now to the S&P 500. These are your larger cap companies. Um, not uh, as tech heavy as the uh, NASDAQ 100. This gives you an idea how our large cap uh, companies are doing uh, here. Uh, big move, uh, back to back moves up uh, almost 6% for the week and uh, a strong move just like the uh, QQQ. Now you notice here that we have come in uh, and got stopped here today at this uh, 20 week moving average. Um, so uh, possibly this is where we're going to hit some headwind, uh, you never know. Um, but again, uh, back to back uh, big weeks here and uh, still kind of in this uh, uh, noisy uh, range here uh, though. Um, and uh, you know on such a big move uh, you could expect some sort of a, of a pullback here. So markets have been very volatile, um, you know, uh, going up and going down very rapidly and very strongly. And here's your small caps. This is the Russell 2000. Same kind of story. Back-to-back -back big weeks. Uh, up 8.61% uh, this week, closing near the top of the range, clearing this blue line, the 10-week moving average. So very strong, still within this range of noise here, up and down movements, volatility. Uh, you know, next week we could be down just as much as we were up this week. So um, this is a very, very difficult market to make money in. Uh, just when you think things are going good, it'll reverse on you. So caution is advised. And here is your financial sector, which uh, has been uh, giving the market some trouble. Uh, you can see that we topped out here early in the year and have just waterfalled down, really accelerating here in the last several months. Uh, hit new lows here uh, last week rallied off of those strongly just like the general markets uh, here the XLF uh, financials are up 6.5 percent for the week clearing this uh, blue line the 10 week moving average but still well within this noise and still in a downtrend when you when you look at your moving averages here and notice how the uh, 40 week is above the 20 week and the 20 week is above the 10 week this is a, not a good sign. This is what we call a bearish configuration. So it does point to lower prices. It's hard to believe after uh, two back-to-back -back big weeks here, but um, this weekly chart is pointing to lower prices. And here is your emerging markets looking overseas for strength. Uh, we had two back-to-back -back big weeks here. These markets are all kind of moving together, and uh, um, even you know even the foreign markets are moving in tandem with uh, with U.S. markets here. Up six, uh, eight point six four percent for the week, clearing the ten-week moving average, but still in a massive downtrend. And moving on to gold, this is the GLD up 2.65% uh, for the week and I drew a trend line along the uh, lower um, uh, portion of this run here and you can see that we have respected this now for three weeks in a row uh, getting a bounce up off of this line here and uh, actually getting above this uh, green dotted line which is the 20 week moving average and uh, getting through a little bit of head uh, away resistance at the four week moving average clearing that um, next stop uh, as far as uh, overhead uh, resistance would be up here at the 10 week moving average which is currently at $171 so gold uh, 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 firming up, uh, possibly uh, this is a bottom uh, like we had the last couple of times. We'll have to see. Uh, volume has been light the last couple of weeks and really tapered off this week. So not a lot of conviction in the buying. And you'll notice the 2.65% uh, uh, move is 
just about a third of what the markets have been doing. So uh, definitely um, gold not as strong as stocks uh, in the last several weeks. And here is silver. This is the SLV, uh, up 3.67%. Uh, coming up off the bottom here, um, staying above this low, now in the third week, getting through a little bit of headwind here, uh, this red line, which is the four-week moving average. Notice how volume has been very light as well. So uh, silver had broken out of this trend here uh, to the downside, massive, massive uh, uh, downside action here, and trying to recover, trying to build some sort of a base here. But I want to caution you on silver. Um, you know, we broke out of this trend, and we had a, we had a nice uptrend going for a long time uh, since uh, 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 mid uh, last year in 2010. And then we sort of had this uh, big kind of climax run here, topping out in, uh, in uh, late April and pulling back and then falling again, just when we thought we were, we were going back to new highs, uh, fell again here. So uh, silver trying to get some sort of a trend going. And uh, I can tell you from the experience that when you're trying to trade trendless markets, it's very difficult to make money. So uh, we do not see a trend uh, developing yet uh, in the silver, um, but uh, let's wait and see. And one last chart here is uh, light sweet crude uh, oil, uh, up almost 5.5% uh, for the week, but still in a downtrend, as you can see, um, well below uh, this 20-week uh, uh, moving average, which is sitting below the 40-week, so uh, a bearish configuration there. And your 10-week is below the 20-week, uh, more confirmation of a bearish uh, pattern here. Uh, we did get back-to-back -back big weeks, and... Um, Almost, you know, the 5.4% move is uh, almost in, in line with the, the general market. So oil getting a nice bid here. Uh, actually closing above uh, its uh, uh, blue line here, the 10-week moving average, for the first time uh, since uh, July. So that's a bit bullish there. Let's see if we can, get, uh, you know, get through all this noise here. Uh, at the $90 range, you're going to come up against uh, overhead resistance here at the 20-week moving average. And then at $95, approximately, you'll have more resistance up here at the 200. But... Um, the trend is down in the oil. So that's it. Uh, to recap, uh, markets, uh, uh, stock markets, uh, uh, another strong week. Um, still very volatile. Um, basically, still in uh, in a trading range here, and uh, a lot of uh, negative signs on the charts. Um, that's not to say we can't rally a third or fourth week in a row. We just never know. But um, the trend uh, is not up, and uh, that's what you really need to know because it really is hard to make money trading when you don't have uh, a weekly trend uh, at your back. So that's it. Um, enjoy your weekend.